Hey folks, Jonathan here. Uh, of course, a lot of you watched the live stream, went to the car show uh, this past Saturday. And uh, Sunday we took this scaffolding down and, you know, where I could get both vehicles in here. I got my International in here now. So, uh, here's the deal. For now, I am done on the L car. So, we won't be doing anything in, on it for quite a while. I'm going to just line up parts and, you know, buy my pieces of wood I need, uh, white ash, and, you know, interior, interior stuff, and just things like that, and probably I may uh, get the guy that painted my uh, rollback to paint this too, which is Noah's dad, but, uh, but for now, you know, we're, we're finished up with what I'm going to do on it, you know, for the time being. Uh, had fun at the car show. I really enjoyed it and I believe it or not I'm actually going to another one this Saturday morning. It's not going to be as long of a show, but uh, It's uh, a local police department putting it on and I got invited so I figured uh, I would go because they're raising some money for Special Olympics and uh, So we're gonna go try to support them anyway, and there probably won't be much really old cars and stuff there. It'll be a lot of uh, uh, You know probably newer stuff uh, rice burners how about that but uh but anyway we'll have this here either way and uh it's just right up the road so it's not far away at all and uh so i may live stream or something from it we'll see how that goes but uh anyway uh what my plans are uh this weekend no will be here of course and uh of course after that car show on saturday morning we are going to go ahead and go back to work on the drag car and i've got the the frame figured out on the back of it we're gonna get rolling but for now I've got the 55 Chevrolet back up on the concrete I'm sure that a lot of you remember this truck and uh, I was messing with this and the Falcons at the same time uh, the Falcon uh, actually both of the Falcons I've actually traded off and a lot of people don't realize that when I get this stuff that you know that's the intentions was to you know, clean it up make it look good enough for somebody that would want it and uh, you know get rid of it trade it sell it uh, you know try to turn a little bit of money on it or something like that I actually traded both of them for a for an older uh, 580k case backhoe needs some steering work and stuff but I mean not a big issue uh, we'll have it here later on but uh as for the truck uh, where we stopped at and some of the things that we've got to do I've got no accelerator pedal I haven't put anything in it yet I'm debating on whether maybe to run a cable uh, and change the pedal out or put a pedal in it. I don't even think there's one in it. Uh, we've got to do a battery box, uh, a battery mount. Let's see if we can open the hood here. Okay. Most of y'all, you know, wash, probably wash this or wash part of it. Uh, Perkins is out of a Jacobson uh, mower, which was a 20-foot cut, big reel mower from a golf course. Uh, we put the four-speed together. Uh, out of uh, the original four speed that was behind it plus a Ford transmission we swapped some parts around in and made the uh, exhaust manifold and put the new turbo on it uh, we've got uh, a boost gauge in it we've got our oil pressure gauge on it hooked up we've still got to do a temperature gauge and let me see the battery box which you know I was planning on mounting the battery in the back or behind the seat or something like that but I think what I'm gonna do because this is a diesel I'm gonna be running one big 12 volt truck battery I think I'm gonna build me a mount and put it right here and uh, that, the closer you can get it to the starter the shorter the cables you got to run the better off you are you know on a diesel you want it to spin so uh, I think that's it for that uh, let me see we've got to get the bed together that's one of our uh, holdups we're still full of antifreeze, thank goodness. We had to build the radiator, basically, or, or use the original radiator and swapped a bunch of stuff around in it. Uh, I put a new windshield in. Uh, the wheels and tires, just some old tires I had. This one here is getting a little low, uh, which has been sitting for, for months and months. I need to clean the rims back up a little bit. This one don't look too bad. I bought them old uh, trim rings and put on it and these rims here are a little wider these are all stock wheels but these are a little wider than the front ones and uh anyway i like them i think it looked good that way 
and the bed is not like I said not mounted the cross members were rusty we're gonna have to build something for that we're not worried about keeping it original or anything gas tanks out of a Jeep Willie's Jeep so uh, we've got it in and everything uh, key switch get some seats mounted I put these seats out of that granada in it I don't like them I, I think I'm gonna try to find something different here uh, something to put in it I'd love to get a bench in it I really want a bench but uh, a lot of little stuff to do in here. Uh, the hump, of course, is going to be remade. Panel for the floor. Uh, I've got a new key switch for it. New headlight. One of the headlights busted out. Got to get the gauges mounted. A lot of little stuff. The door over there, uh, alignment is still way off on it. Uh, need to tweak it some, mess with it. So we've got quite a bit to do, but we're going to spend a little bit of time on it, trying to I'll try to at least get it where we can uh, start it up and take it down the road. I never did get to do a driving video because I've never actually took it down the road, so uh, hopefully the clutch and uh, brake pedal is still up and good. These are 59 Ford, 58 Ford, and the pedals and everything was 58, 59 Ford. Yeah, this door has a lot to be desired. Oh, let me see. Still got a good clutch pedal. And then we still got a full brake pedal. So, when we've done this, we've done new lines, new wheel cylinders, new mash cylinder, everything. So it should, you know, there's no reason why it shouldn't be right. And uh, looks like I've got to do the steering column mount on it yet. I had to change a lot of stuff. I actually had to make this pedal here. I think if you uh, remember the videos. But, uh, but we're just going to put it to where we can at least take it down the road one time and check it out and see how it does. So, definitely got to work on that door. And uh, body parts on this thing are, are not very good. The cab was fair. It's got some Bondo in it. The hood was with it and the passenger door. Everything else was missing. Uh, somebody had stole the two beds I bought at that auction. So I picked this bed up. The fenders are about shot on it. You know, the bottoms of the doors are rough. This one's real bad. The other one ain't too bad. Fenders are rough. Uh, at least this one's rough at the bottom there. But, uh, you know, that's the way it goes. But uh, we're going to run some exhaust on this, too. I'm probably just going to run a stack up the back. Some people like them. Some people don't. Uh, don't really matter much. I'm probably going to trade this or sell it. Uh, not sure. We'll figure it out as we go. It's really just not one that I'm, you know, wanting to keep for myself. It's just something that I wanted to do was, you know, to put, put the diesel in it. So. But anyway, we're going to get to work on it. I think we'll start with the battery box. And we'll get this thing fired back up, and then we're going to get a throttle on it. Uh, it's got a rod running through it. What we may do is uh, mount a cable, bring the cable through, build a bracket here, run the cable to the throttle. So uh, we'll figure that out as we go, but I want to get it started back up. And so I think first thing we'll do is get a battery box built, get a battery in it, and we'll go from there. Okay, folks, I'm going to show you what we're doing here. What it is, I started out with cardboard. I just made me a pattern uh, for what I wanted to go against the, the uh, fender well and then to come out and I, I put the bends in it and then I just traced this, flattened it out, traced it on a piece of steel and then uh, cut it out of an old piece of steel. We'll, we'll clean this up and paint it before we're, when we're done. But anyway, uh, put the bends in it, drilled some holes in it and this will bolt in right here and then uh, and then we'll be able to do the other side because it's a little farther back you know this fender well is not exactly straight parallel back and forth with or parallel with the frame so so it'll be a little bit longer so what we're going to do is go ahead and get this drilled and bolted and then uh, we're going to add some plates between here and one for the bottom one for the inside one for the outside and uh, that'll be the battery box but I will uh, go ahead and get some more done here. Get get this drilled and bolted in, and then I'll work on the other one. All right, we got her bolted in. I don't reckon I should have put that third bolt hole. So I could put a spacer back there and still put one in it. But if we don't, we don't. It's not a big deal. Okay, we got it in. We got it good and straight. Got it where we want it. So now we've just got to go back the length of the battery, or, you know, maybe a half inch farther, and then come out off of this one do the same thing. We're going to bend another piece coming this way, and then we'll put a flat plate here, and then come in here, 
and we'll bend a 90 on each end and put a flat plate and then the bottom will be the same way and uh, probably just uh, drill them and plug weld them together and maybe get it all in here and clamp it and take it out and we'll, uh, we'll see how that works out okay here's our battery we're going to use this happens to be a caterpillar battery but uh, L6 it should be 16 I hope this was the one that we used to try to start or to start the old tractor up or Dodge what was it a Worthington we used it for so we're going to get a measurement here and go ahead and get to work getting this done okay here we are so far and one thing I did notice I only went down went down an inch less than what I did with these but the reason is is I'm getting actually close to the solenoid down there so we're going to bob that corner off and then we'll we'll keep the battery from going down all the way so now all we've got is we need to do two more pieces we need to do a, a bottom and we need to do a tray for this side and just put bends in them to keep the battery from moving in and down of course and uh, that'll get that finished up but uh, it's gonna work out really well Okay, we got our battery box clamped together here, and uh, just want to make sure when you build this stuff that you leave a gap in the bottom or holes or something for your water to drain out. You don't want it to hold water. Anyway, uh, you know, it's got to be cleaned up before I weld it and, paint and get some paint on it because uh, it's built out of all scrap, so just like about everything else I build. And uh, anyway, we'll get it out, uh, clean it up, get it welded together, and then... Uh, We'll get a little bit of probably just black paint on it, get it back in there, and then we can set our battery in there. And you know, like I said, this is an this is an oversized box. This is not a regular size battery box for a uh, you know a, a regular car battery. This is for a truck battery. So, and uh, so I think it's going to tuck it down in there pretty good now. Uh, believe it or not, that battery is over nine inches tall, and my depth is only just a little over six inches. So. Uh, you know it's gonna it's gonna stick up pretty high and uh, you know another two or three inches out so we'll uh, we'll see how it looks but you know it, it, it's nice to get it up here where it needs to be close to the starter so all right I'll show you more all right we've got the battery box uh, welded up painted and in there and uh, so she's finished up should do fine uh, we're gonna get the cables on it and probably try to get it started up but I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here and I've got a uh, barn find to pick up tonight and I'll have it on uh, video hopefully if I get it I don't I, you know it's looking pretty good but we'll see and uh, I've only seen pictures so far so we'll see how that works out but uh, anyway just because you build something out of scrap don't mean it's got to look like scrap uh, we'll show you more on this one soon All right. Till next time. Bye.